Hello, this is Justin Seven, and this week I'm going to talk to you a little bit about betting bad lines. Say you're looking at the basketball game for tonight, and you see the market price is pretty much Orlando minus four and a half. And you're looking at one book, and you see Orlando plus four and a half. That's nine points off of the market, and that is a bad line. So what's likely to happen if you actually bet Orlando plus four and a half, which is clearly a bad line? No good will come from betting a bad line, and different books will handle it in different ways, none of which will be favorable to you. If you're betting at a good book, say the top books like Pinnacle or Olympic, um, what they will typically do with a bad line is they will cancel the bet and they will email you before the event begins that you bet a bad line. If you're betting this at a B or a C book, they'll probably cancel it and maybe you won't get an email or maybe they'll cancel it midway through the game or even after the game. If you're betting at a D book, say you're betting at SPG Global or Sportsbook.com, this is when you really get in trouble. They will often wait until the game is over. If your bet wins, they'll cancel it, saying it's a bad line. If your bet loses, they don't bother canceling it. They honor the bet. So in this case, they're free rolling you. So that's uh, it's just no good will come from betting it. Now, if you're betting at an F book, um, you know Easy Sports or something. They don't even have to cancel it because they're not going to pay you if you win anyway. But uh, the point is, if you see a bad line, you don't want to bet it. Now, this is an obvious case of a bad line. The, fl the spread is flipped. Instead of you know, minus 4.5, it's plus 4.5. But there's a lot of uh, other things that are less obviously bad lines. A general rule of thumb is if you can arb, if you can arb the position out for you know, 5 or 10% profit, it's probably a bad line. Now, the one exception is if there's been a big steam move and you just have a, a book that's asleep at the wheel you know and that we've, we've seen this before when, you know a major injury in NBA and the line moves three or four points if a book doesn't bother moving it that's not a bad line that's just sloppy bookmaking uh, feel free to hit them but typically books that are that asleep at the wheel are gonna have other problems so how do the Las Vegas sports books handle bad lines well in Nevada they have to honor these bets once they give them so what you'll sometimes see is as soon as you place the bet, a manager will come running out of the back and demand that you give them the tickets back. Now you don't have to, um, and he has to honor the bet, but they can make your life very difficult if you don't. Uh, aside from kicking you out of there or banning you from the premises, they've been known to try intimidation tactics as well. If you then later go back to cash in something that's clearly a bad line, um, expect to get trespassed at that point. That's all for this week. If you have any other questions, feel free to send me an email at justin at sportsbookreview.com.